Hi, Bren and Michael. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit today uh, the beginning of your screen door. I had talked to you this summer about making a screen door for your house, and um, I got the board here. I'm going to start on it. Um, I just want to give you a little history on it. The board is actually a reused project from a set of bleacher boards out of the Howard High School, and um, it's a really nice piece of wood, and I'm um, hoping that I can do a better job of carpentry than filming skills, but uh, we'll work on that. Um, I'll let you see the board. Right now it's obvious that there are defects in it, but most of those will be taken out as we progress through the, the cutting operations. I've got it marked out for different parts. That way I know what I'm going to get out of a particular board. Um, it is a pretty nice board in, in so far as the quality of it. It was probably from the 50s or 40s, so it's a, a type of lumber that's really hard to find now. It should make a really nice door for you. Um, here's a pattern that I had made for it. Um, generally, I kind of just wing it on stuff like this, but I wanted to be pretty efficient and pretty, pretty close to my measurements that I had taken. So I made up a pattern and that gives me all my cutting sizes and uh, you know the radius of the door and such. When I get done cutting pieces they all should fit and that way we're going to have a pretty close piece. So I will continue to update you as we move on. I've got to cut it now. I haven't done anything with it yet. And uh, by the end of the day I should have a pile of boards that look like something more than you know, a reclaimed piece of wood. So, we will talk to you later. Okay, I'm back. Um, as you can see, I got a pile of boards here. I cut those to length and cut the tenons on them. And I've got this board set up to mark where the boards fit. And the next step will be drilling holes, mortising holes, I should say, into it for each of these to fit and then fitting it together. Um, this is a machine that drills square holes. It's kind of interesting to watch it in action, but I don't know if I'll be able to get that going while I'm trying to hold the board down and stuff. But square holes from a round drill bit, it's kind of interesting. But uh, I'll get that set up. I'll get the mortises cut, and <clears throat> it should be halfway together today. So talk to you later. I got my machine set up. I've got everything clamped in there right now. I'm going to try to show you just one quick move how it, how it actually makes that hole. And that's the long and the short of it. Kind of, I got the rest of these done. I just have to clean them up with a chisel and then just fit the mortises to them. Okay, here you can see the door in its rough draft version. I uh, fitted all the tenons and it's uh, ready for the top now. There are the tenons where the round part of the top will fit on. And if we go over here, you can see pieces that I cut that are going to be the round part of the top. And I used my pattern to get the mortises marked on each piece where they'll go together. That way it strengthens it as it goes together here. It will be joined right at the top. And that one will join at the side posts. Um, I have to set it up so I can drill these mortises out and fit them to the posts and then I will cut the radius with a router. Okay, here we have one of the pieces that will form the round part of your door. 
and uh, because of the way they were shaped I couldn't use them in my mortising machine so I had to go old school and basically drill out the holes with a drill and then you take a chisel and square them up so that they fit the tenon that you're going to use to join the two pieces. Over here I have one that I have worked up. I got I made a slip tenon that fit in there. That just comes right out. <clears throat> That's what the holes look like. They're not quite as neat as when the machine does it, but uh, you know, it still works. It's the way people did it for years and years. Um, then this piece is just fitted in there and it will be cut off and the other piece will mate with it and it will be glued together and make a nice strong connection there on the top. Um, where it joins to the sides we have the same setup. I have to clean that one up just a little bit yet. There's a little bit in there and then that piece will fit on the top of the door right here. So. Okay, here we have the uh, two pieces of wood. Um, I glued them up last night, fitted them up and glued them. Um, everything is nice and dry right now, so I was going to take the clamps off. And uh, when I get that done, then I will mount them to the side of the door, and the door will actually start to take shape. Then. So I will show you that in the next next segment. Okay, here you can see. The top of the door has been attached to the sides and I set up a router on kind of a trammel so that when I get ready to cut the round part it will just slide around in a nice circle and I will cut the outside one first and then I'll have to reset it and then I'll cut this other one round. I'll spare you the noise in the boredom of the router and show you the finished product when I'm done. Here you can see that the outside radius has been cut already and I'm ready to cut the last cut on the inside radius and I'll try to do both of them at the same time, the router and the camera, so let's see what happens. <laughs> Makes you want to listen to that all day long, doesn't it? And there is the final cut. Okay, here you see the door has been completed. I got it glued together. I made up the panels for it. And uh, I even partially painted some of it. I spared you a lot of the uh, boring parts, the dusty parts, and and all the clamps you see around here are forming up the molding that will hold the screen in. That's uh, kind of been the biggest challenge. We worked on a couple of different things, and uh, this one looks like it's going to work. So um, I just wanted to bring you up to date on where it is. Um, it's going to be a uh, complete door probably in just a couple of days here so we're looking forward to seeing you guys when we get there we'll talk to you later bye bye